Hello guys, it's Akide Xayad here. Welcome back to another episode of how to create the roof tiles. Okay, in this episode we would like to see how to put our created family on our roof. Okay, first of all, let's change this to 3D so that we can see everything correctly. Here is our roof tiles. Now select all instances and the entire project we would like to hide this we would like to hide this tile so that it will not step in the way you see we have these as uh, our poor lines as earlier said now let's see what we're going to do about it i do not want this anymore let's do it the conventional way select this and then change it to normal roofing okay then let's duplicate okay and change the settings to let's say 20 or 10 any and then press an okay and then okay nice so we have our roof here let's create beams which we are going to use it as the rafters create beams this is metal one let's load in another new family of wood structural framing and let's go for wood let's go for this one press an ok nice let's choose which measurement we want this measurement is ok I can see and then pick line if you just directly pick this line it will put our frame in our timber downwards so what you are going to do is 3d snapping and then go for it you see okay there is another thing you see control z the other thing is our justification z justification is on the top so everything will be below we would like it to be at the center and then press an OK. You see what I mean? The wood is at the center. Okay. Nice. And then press an escape. Let's go for the top and see. Or we can adjust this thing nice I think it's much more better this way and then let's adjust this one too And then this other one. Okay, I think it's okay. So let's bring in our family, and I will show you why I did this. Why is important to do this? To put the normal rafters. Um, bring in your family. You can do it the normal way. I prefer dragging and dropping. It's much more easier for me nice close and then let's go for the top you see this family we created only snaps to face so for us to put it at an angular manner it has to be to a face you see here is the face straight to this place and then press on OK. 
and then let's go to 3D and see is seated correctly there is no angular issues and then the next one this should be on a face from here all the way up to this place good another one from here all the way up to this place And the last one, which is this. Okay, let's just leave it this way. Okay, now you see we have escape. Now you see we have our ridge. Let's reveal hidden element on height element close now you see our roof tile now has a reach properly seated hmm it's nice okay um let's see how to create some um poor lines <laughs> since we deleted the other one we did let's see how to create poor lines select all instances i would like to hide them because it will stay on the way i can't really locate some part of it i want this to go to select all instances the entire project and then hide by element okay click on beam system nice um select set of red set I'm sorry nice and then yeah it's okay pick line nice and then i would like to put the direction of my okay and then press on okay i have this as a polite so i want to reduce the thickness of this guy and maybe change the location of change its location but let's leave it this way for now let me duplicate and change and change it to maybe 50 by 50 let's say 50 by 50 50 by 50 and then press on ok here we have few but I don't know I haven't changed the justification yet justification says top I want it to be at the middle too sorry at the end but um and I want this Good here. Yeah. Spacing between it should be three hundred. Nice. 
this and let's try mirroring it let's try mirroring it and see if it works hmm. let's see it in 3d i don't think so it did correctly no it didn't so control z and i believe it's supposed to to do it again let's see this other mirror type nah it's still the same thing <laughs> control z okay instead of wasting a lot of time let me just create it for creating sec follow up this process again set your your preference plane yeah should be this face and then here here now and it to be this way here and here and I press an OK oops sorry I did not edit Um, uh, okay yeah it is justification I'll just keep in mind this justification the justification should be at the center oh sorry it's at the bottom I put the other one too and um, I want it to be number two and then I would like to change change my distance in space into 300 and then press no um the beam is slightly off axis okay oh so what's wrong again Let's make it 300 and see justification and and 300. Whoa, I don't know why it's not trying <laughs> me the correct result is coming out underneath. I 
but I guess you get what I mean and let's unhide this and this just select all and then unhide my element and close this okay let's go to our section and see if our result comes out correctly or not so here we go let me shift this guy to be a bit what here we go we have our roof and um, here is our pole lines you can see them I can't really see all of it but I can see one <laughs> I don't know here is the rafter I inserted here. Okay, here they are. They are a bit big. That's the reason I can't see them. Here they are. They are big. You see them? Here is our pole lines. <laughs> okay, we're going to stop here for this tutorial. If you have any question, you can ask me. Try it out and see if you have the same result. Okay, let's meet in another. Let's meet again in another course or lesson. Thank you very much. Please do subscribe, like, comment if you have any question you can ask me, and then I will try to answer you if I have the answer. <laughs> but if I don't, I'll definitely reference you to my mentor. But thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. See you sometime tomorrow. Bye.